Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a taste test for you guys. I am not in my typical location for my taste test. I'm in my mukbang location. I just feel like this is a better spot. I don't know, I really like this area of my house. It's nice and quiet. So I'm going to be doing a taste test in this location. Today I am tasting vegan bakery items. These are all actually from Whole Foods. I haven't had any of them before except for these two donuts I have had before but i had to get them again because they're seriously so good i will be rating everything for you guys like i always do if you want to check out my other taste test videos i will link them down below i am going to go ahead and get started i'm going to start with this it sadly broke it is a chocolate chip scone it looks like a cookie and i've never had a scone before but i'm really interested to see if i like it that's what the inside looks like I don't know it's it feels kind of soft and scones aren't they usually triangle anyway so i'm gonna try it out Mm. So it just tastes basically like a giant cookie, but the texture is more airy. It has more of an airy texture than a cookie. But that's really good. I'd probably give that 7.5 out of 10. It's not my favorite thing, but it has a really, really good flavor. Next, I'm going to try. They have these apple turnovers. I've never had a turnover in my entire life. Actually, I might have, I just don't remember it. And I'm really excited because they smell really good and there's like apple oozing out the side and it just looks really good, so. That flakiness is unreal. Mmm. That is seriously so good. There's sugar granules on the top. The flakiness is so good. And there's not too much pie filling in it either. I'm spilling over my donuts, no. So I'm not a huge pie person, but these are really good. <laughs> Just finish it all. Oh, no, no. I'd probably give that an eight out of 10. All right, I'm going to try one of their regular chocolate chip cookies. Mmm. Mmm. The chocolate chips are all melty. Very generic, but extremely good. It's everything you want a chocolate chip cookie to be. I give those an eight out of 10. Now on the topic or subject of cookies, I'm gonna try their ginger snap. These ones are so cute. Hmm. Hmm. So they have a good ginger snap flavor, but they're hard and crunchy and a little dry to be honest. That I'm probably gonna give 5.5. .5 Sorry, it's just not super good. I don't know. I'm really excited because I've never found a vegan croissant anywhere. But this bad boy, just a plain old croissant is vegan. I'm so excited. So here we go. The last time I had a croissant was before I was vegan. It literally just tastes the same as I remember them. But this one's super not dry. <laughs> it's not dry at all. And it has that really good texture that you want in a bagel. 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 Oh my gosh, this is so good. For a croissant, I'd probably give that a nine. I have been dying to try Whole Foods Blueberry Muffin. I've seen this and I've been wanting it so many times, but I've never been able to get it. And I finally have gotten it and I'm just so excited. So I'm just gonna try it out. 
I need a moment. Oh my goodness. That is crazy good. The texture. It's not dry at all. It has such a good texture. It's not overly sweet, which a lot of blueberry muffins tend to be oversweet. But it has a really good balance in the top of it. Best part. Not the best blueberry muffin I've ever had, but it's still really good. I'm probably gonna give it probably seven out of 10 because it's not the best muffin once again, blueberry muffin, but no, I'm gonna rate it an eight, Never mind. That's really good. Now, this is, this is Whole Foods Blueberry Cake Donut. Their cake donuts are my favorite. They are so, so good. They know how to do it. And I've been wanting this one also forever. So here we go. What the heck? There's not much of a blueberry flavor. I don't know if that's just cause I had a blueberry muffin. I don't know. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna save this piece for my dad. He said he really wanted to try it. I don't blame him. Yeah, I don't taste the blueberry. Still really good though. I'm gonna give that a nine out of 10. That was really good. Okay, next donut. This is just their original vanilla frosting. Just when I thought it couldn't get any better. It's not dry. It's super sweet. It's really nostalgic. It has like a really nostalgic flavor to it. That one's a 9.5, that's good. All right, I already said I've had these two before, but I'm gonna try them again for you because I honestly don't really remember them. So I'm gonna go with the chocolate frosted. The chocolate flavor reminds me of something. I, I don't remember what that tastes like, but that's really, really good. That might be a 10. 9.5 or 10, I can't decide yet, but that's really good. Oh, it killed my cookie. Last, but definitely not least, they're maple glazed. That's a 10. That maple flavor is a solid maple flavor. That is so good. The glaze just melts in your mouth. Okay, last but not least, they have this beautiful cupcake. It's a vanilla cake with chocolate frosting. The cake feels super moist. That is so good. The frosting is hard, but it's super rich. I have a fork here, but that was really hard to bite. I think I almost broke my jaw. Oh my goodness. That's a 10. That frosting is so good. It's hard, but it's super sweet and rich. It's almost like a fudge on top of a cake. That's ridiculously good. And the cake is not super sweet, so it balances really nicely with the fudgy frosting. I think that is the best cupcake I've ever had. Okay guys, if you are in a Whole Foods area and you're looking for something sweet, their bakery section, highly recommend. So, so good. That is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you end up trying some of these out. And if you do, comment down below and make sure you let me know if you liked it. Also, this is not sponsored. I just love Whole Foods food, so. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!